As birds are nesting and raising their young, there is a lot that can go wrong. When Mainers do see a bird in trouble, there is statewide help. Will Wagner talked to the folks at Avian Haven today. Many people find orphaned or injured birds and try to nurse them back to health. Though for most that try, they cause more harm than help. Avian Haven and Freedom is up to that task and rescues thousands of orphaned and injured birds every year. You can call them to pick up a bird and give it its best chance of survival. Last year we did uh, just over, just under 3,000 birds. Uh, currently, so far in 2024, we're up to about 933 birds. The reflex is to always want to feed a baby bird, and I just want to remind everybody to just give us a call and get information before doing anything of that nature, um, because a lot of these species have specialized diets, so it can be quite dangerous to feed them, um, and it's hard to kind of undo and mitigate some of the damage that might be done before they get to us. You know, people think that they can do their best and bring a bird up from a nestling or fledgling and then just set it free. Um, and that's not the case. Many of the birds that they take in are preyed on by cats or hit by cars. However, fledgling birds that people are concerned about may not even need to be rescued. Unfortunately, uh, human interference and pet predation are the number one um, reasons that birds end up in our care or that don't survive at all. A lot of birds, they will fledge from the nest and not be able to fly. It's kind of like this ungraceful little fall. Um, completely normal. They'll figure out how to bird on the ground. Mom and dad will still be present, not for every species, but mom and or dad will be present, um, still feeding, still teaching them. Um, and then over the course of a, a week to a couple weeks, they end up learning how to fly from there. Other species, however, fledge from the nest knowing how to fly perfectly. So that's another reason we ask for photographs, just to make sure that we are giving appropriate advice for the species. Their mission wouldn't be possible without volunteer staff and donations. We're open for the public. We're not open to the public. Uh, we, you know, staff, volunteers, interns that are on site do minimal interaction with the birds because that's going to ensure their release is successful when the time comes. Um, if they come in really young, they're getting fed every 30 minutes to an hour, and then we gradually upgrade them. Um, so it's a lot of manpower, a lot of food, a lot of bugs, um, a lot of cage cleaning, um, and then ultimately a lot of cooperation with the community. Will Wagner, WBI TV5 News, Freedom. And if you do find an injured bird or want to know more about Avian Haven, you can visit avianhaven.org. Their number is 382-6761.